And the owner of an NBA team is coming under fire. This after news broke, he directed the team to stop playing the national anthem before home games. NTD's Grace Coulter has the story. The NBA's Dallas Mavericks is breaking a tradition upheld by almost every major sports team in America. The team is no longer playing the national anthem before home games. This at the direction of Mavericks owner Mark Cuban. Cuban declined to explain the reasoning behind the decision. But a clue may be found in his comments. Last year, Cuban expressed support for NBA players kneeling during the national anthem on ESPN. If they were taking a knee and they were being respectful, I'd be proud of them. You know, hopefully, you know, I join them. Last year, the NBA saw a steep decline in revenue and viewership after players began kneeling for the anthem and engaging in left-wing political movements. The players were kneeling to show support for the Black Lives Matter movement, an act of protest critics say is disrespectful to the country and those who've died defending it. Uh, and now that the NBA has come out with a mandate, he's going to have to play it. But his heart is with, well, I kneel with them too. And then when you have a Jen Psaki saying, you know, it recognizes the United States failings. I mean, you get so disgusted. You really want people to come to games, you know, or do you want people to not watch them? So, Jesse, do you take this as a protest uh, by the owner in line with Colin Kaepernick? Well, he went full Kaepernick and won. You never go full Kaepernick. What I think happened here, okay. he was probably just trying to be the wokest NBA owner to, to recruit better because a lot of young NBA talent's pretty political. He thought it would help him sign them. But I don't know. I don't think the season ticket holders are going to be down with this. The NBA's not even down with this. I mean, kneeling is one thing. Canceling the anthem. I mean, we finally found out where the line is with social justice, and Mark flew right past it and got teed up big time. I, I couldn't believe the White House tried to both sides the issue of canceling the national anthem. And now Cuban's decision is meeting with similar backlash. House candidate Robbie Starbuck and a number of others are comparing Cuban's attitude towards the U.S. to his attitude towards China, where the NBA does big business. Starbuck wrote in a tweet that it seems Cuban is okay doing business with China, despite their concentration camps and torture, yet is not okay with the national anthem of the country that made him a billionaire. The NBA has come under fire for turning a blind eye to the Chinese Communist Party's human rights abuses and the ethnic cleansing of Uyghurs, as well as censoring players who speak out about it, whilst being vocal about racial justice at home. In October 2020, journalist Megan Kelly asked Cuban on her podcast why the NBA would take $500 million from a country that's carrying out ethnic cleansing. Cuban's response... The one who because said, they are a customer. They're... They are a customer of ours, and guess what, Megan? I'm okay with doing business with China. He said he's instead trying to help provide asylum for those fleeing the regime to the U.S. We can't have nice things because we're now, the media in general, are pledging allegiance to identity politics instead of the flag. It is his team. I don't think it's any call on his patriotism. He was trying to solve a problem that reflects a sad sign of the times where identity politics, where wherever it goes, it, 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 it destroys. It, 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 it operates under the protective guise of protest. But once it gets inside the organism, whether it's sports or entertainment or TV shows, it unravels it. It splits instead of unites. All he's trying to do is trying to keep it from splitting even more. Unfortunately, it may not help.